A nicely done mention tonight for a family from Oakland, Nebraska, and their friends and family. They all joined in to make something very positive out of a very difficult circumstance. Alyssa and Brad Bosque had a good reason to make the trip with their family from Oakland, Nebraska to Omaha. We would like to present uh, um, another donation on behalf of our family. Thank you very much. The story so behind this donation dates back just about seven months ago. And on December 31st, he called me and said that that's, I had cancer. Shocking news, not just for Alyssa, but the entire family. We were very nervous and, and doing our research and trying to determine what we were up against. Alyssa soon started chemotherapy for breast cancer. Six treatments spaced three weeks apart. From the start, the whole family felt community support. I like the cards my mom gets, or people always like asking at school, like, how's your mom doing? Alyssa did well, and her husband, Brad, came up with a creative idea to celebrate her final chemo treatment. He spoke to their florist in Oakland about roses. And I go, you know what? Why don't we just raise money for breast cancer research at the same time and um, have everybody purchase a rose for $10 a piece with anything left over after purchasing the roses going straight to the Susan G. Coleman uh, foundation. So this is the scene at Estabrook Cancer Center in Omaha after the final treatment. Friends and relatives were there too and they tried not to give the surprise away. I was like, well where did everybody just disappear off to? And all of a sudden he says, well there's more coming. And I'm like, there's more coming? What are you talking about? 500 roses and a donation of $4,700 to fight breast cancer. And other patients at Estabrook were also encouraged. 36 faces in all. We uh, Alyssa left with one vase and the rest were all given away. I was sh surprised that he came up with that. I was like, dang, he's good. <laughs> that is amazing. Well, listen, Brad, we're amazed at how it all came together. Uh, Brad sent some texts. The word spread quickly and everybody responded. Alyssa has an urgent word about mammograms. Her doctor told Alyssa to get one when she turned 40. She said, do not wait. So I went ahead and did it right away when I turned 40 and got called back and that's when it started. Found a lump. I could not feel anything. There was nothing to alarm us to begin with. It was purely the mammogram that found it. So listen, Brad, are very thankful she still has some surgeries ahead. It's amazing. The donation, almost $5,000 and just to see all of those roses coming in. That was quite a sight, wasn't it? Is, it is, yes. Surrounded when she was sitting there. And also this reminder, the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure is set for October 9th. You can sign up now, and I do have a link included with this story on our website, WWT.com. Nicely done.